Hi, this is Frank the Pest Geek, host of the Pest Geek Podcast and owner of Nature Pest. Have you ever wondered how to prevent roaches from getting into your dishwasher? And if they do get in and you do have roaches around your dishwasher, how to properly treat them without contaminating the dishwasher? Check this out. Okay, so here we have an average dishwasher in America. And we open the dishwasher and yes, look, there's dishes inside. Well, dishwashers are designed to be sealed. Generally, roaches are not going to make it inside your dishwasher if your washer is sealed. So the number one way to keep roaches from getting inside is to lock it or click it. If you keep it locked or click, roaches and bugs are not going to make it inside. Why? Well, there is a seal around this dishwasher right here there is a seal and this seal if it's intact and it's not broken it goes all the way around the bottom of the dishwasher because if water can't get out roaches can't get in so you're inspecting making sure that you have a nice seal there's a little bit of a brokenness here on this one this is a very old but from there you know you should not have an entry if this is butted up against you will see roaches in here all the time but this is on the outside believe it or not this is not on the inside if you look in there let me see if i can get a light and the light to go in there turn turn that torch on give me a second okay see it in there that's your latch but that's on the outside is it possible through here that a roach could make it in through one of these little vents. Yes, it is possible. So you will treat it from the outside. And then you can't remove it. Some people will say, well, you have to remove the dishwasher to be able to treat behind it. Uh, no, you don't. I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that you can actually accomplish this. Check this out. So in the areas that are accessible, that are not inside the washer, you're able to treat with roach bait. Now this is Advion cockroach bait. This is pretty much our standard bait that we use for maintenance. And we use this one, all the notes, by the way, all the products we use are always in the notes on the video below. So if you look inside, the description there's going to be a link where you can order it directly and what we're going to do is look at the areas where we could apply this so we're going to take it and we're just going to take a little bit and put it right there you see where i placed it so if you if this is on the outside so if you got over here and you got a place that you can hide it uh, uh, there you go and then we're going to take a place like in here and we're going to apply it right in there you can apply it on the screws right there you don't have to remove a dishwasher to treat it um, within a foot to two foot if you've got a little crack like right here where there's roaches are going to be in there you go down here to the footer and in the footer you can put a little bit of drop of bait there you can also find a little place like that you can go up here and you can, you know, oh, I got my finger in the way here. Yeah, you put it right in there. Anywhere you can put a drop around it, you can open this up. And inside, you can, you know, if you can take out that front plate, you can put it in there. I'm going to show you another product. Uh, if you're going to have to put it around the door, never inside the dishwasher. You don't put a product inside your dishwasher you put it outside remember they're not getting in they're they're living in the cracks and crevices so you're going to stick it right in there where nobody's going to touch it you're going to put the little needle now i'm using quarter inch stainless steel uh these 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 number 16 needles 16 gauge see a little, little out of focus there and we're treating all around it Sticking it inside. Very little product. You don't need a whole lot. They're inside. They're going to find it. 
if you got to put it, you see down here, you see, you got some mechanisms here. You can always put it inside the mechanism. All right, there you go. On the outside of the seal, out here, you can put a little bit of the bait so they can find it. Let me get a little, let me get a little bit away from there. If there's a place to put it, there's usually a place to hide it, though, right on the frame. You're going to have a lot. Let me go back over here. See? There you go. You're able to stick it in there. I usually like to press it and get it to go inside. All right? And now once you've baited with gel bait all the way around your dishwasher on the outside, places like here. So basically, you got to think like a roach. One foot, one foot away. You're going to stick it in there. There it is right there. You can, you're can, you able to get it way in the back. Get it in there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in on it. It's, it's trying to focus on two different areas. See there like that. Again, down here. Just very little. You don't need a whole lot. Uh, you don't do a whole row uh, up and down of that. I mean, the longest you should ever do is what the label says. So you got to read the label, know how to apply it, but you want to keep it on the outside of the dishwasher. And that's how you treat with gel bait around a dishwasher. Now, what are the other places that you can treat? Well, see how this here is, is, a, is, is a frame? You remove the stove. So we're going to remove the stove and I'm going to show you around the back how to get to the back of the washer without um, removing it. Remember, everything is about inspection, figuring out how that roach is being able to go across. Usually you will have a gap here sometimes and you, you got to inspect. You got to pull that stove, pull everything around that you can. You know, this used to have an infestation there. See the, the roach excrement. But let's say we put it here. You know, could a roach find it? It possibly could. I basically put it inside the crack around it. See, there's been here, this is old bait right here that we've applied before. And that's, you know, I'm getting on this side. What is another method? Well, we can use dust bait. I'm gonna show you how to use dust bait. Okay, so what we got here is the precision control delivery system by uh, CSI Control Solutions. It is a tool, professional tool. It is a gun that is battery operated. The bait is in that little container. It has the little wand. And this is Doxim um, solution. And, and what we can do with this is we can go places where the bait can. It's still a bait in dust form. So let's say underneath here, we're gonna open this up. Let's see if I can let me get my phone to stand by itself while I open this and hold it open so that you can see how this works. And then what I'm gonna do is, let's see if I can, there you see the bait coming out? So you can puff bait in the back in this, this furniture housing, you know, where the motor housing is and all the equipment, oh, it fell down. See if we can get it. It's a little dusty, but yeah, get it here. And there you go. And if you can get it in there, now you've got a bait that's dusted in there. Just a little bit, not too much. You saw me just trigger it. If you can't afford, because this is about two hundred dollars to buy this equipment, then I would recommend the Avert Dry Flowable dust bait and then i'm going to have a link below so that you can order that and that's one of the products i i used to use until i got this one which is more modern but then we move into places like you know the like up here can you get it in there well yeah you don't have to get it inside let me put it in here and then i would just All right, and then we go inside. There's always a water place right here. 
where the plumbing goes through and there's usually one or two in this case we got two we got lucky look just put it in the back well get it in there so now I got bait completely in the front and in the back of that unit and now we're going to be able to control. Now, the good thing about the Doxim, a product like this, like Avert or Doxim, is you don't have to apply it every month. Behind a wall where it's dry, this thing can last a year. Um, if you're doing a quarterly service and you're not finding an infestation, you're not finding any product, you could probably use it every three or six months. Just a little boom, just a little one, and that's it to control uh, in inaccessible places like behind a dishwasher. Hey, hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, will you do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a spectacular day.